so we've just started our night shift. We've just got changed and ready to head to the wards. Um, this is my second week of night shifts. So yep, it's my second week of night shifts at that age. So heading to the ward and I'm feeling quite excited about my second second week of night shifts. Um, what about you? Yeah, I feel the same. Excited, the merit is nervous. <laughs> yeah. um, so we'll see what the what the shift has in store for us. Yeah, let's see. So I'm in the Royal Alexandra Hospital, I'm doing a night shift tonight, it's quarter to three in the morning and I am in the corridor on my way back to the ward. I've just spent some time in one of the r and areas, that's the relaxation and re recuperation hubs that the NHS Greater Glasgow and Clyde have provided for all staff as a place that's to go so we can relax and unwind um, during what is, can sometimes be very challenging shifts. Um, so it's been a, a great place to go during the shift. So I've just finished my night shift at the uh, RAH in Paisley. I've just came home and had a bath and washed my uniform. Um, my shift last night was pretty tough. It was quite sad. One of the patients deteriorated really quickly. Um, and my role within all that was taking the patient's observations and making sure I was providing comfort to the patient who didn't have any relatives with them, um, which can be quite tricky when you're wearing all the PPE. Um, the patients can only really see your eyes, so it's still important that you show empathy and give compassion to all your patients, um, which is quite challenging with all the extra safety equipment that we're wearing. Um, but I feel like it's something that I'll be learning throughout this whole process and improving on. Um, I was really well supported by all the staff and I had a debrief afterwards with one of the nurses, which was quite good. Um, and I think it's really important for all um, staff involved with COVID to be able to do that after an, an event like that that's been quite upsetting. Hiya. Hello. How are you? Okay, I'm okay. So start of the shift, um, I've obviously started at the same time as you, seven o'clock tonight. So I've come in and had my hand over and I'm looking after a room of gentlemen who all have COVID-19 um, so I'm primarily doing all the care for the patients and I've been supervised by one of the nurse, advanced nurse practitioners oh, wow, that's um, good, yeah. she's really good, she's really nice and she's quite good at teaching mm -hmm. so she's been looking after me. One of the patients is quite quite unwell at the mm -hmm. moment so it's quite hard to kind of watch that and, yeah. and trying to make sure I'm doing everything that I, I should be doing and, mm -hmm. and learning at the same time so, so it has been quite challenging but I think it's important to come on your break and relax and yeah. then I'll go back up to the ward and put my game face on and, yeah, and see what the rest of the shift holds. Yeah. How, how's yours? How's your night been? Hi, it's been fine so far. Don't get me wrong, we had a patient who had taken a wee turn for the worst, which was actually my first time ever dealing with yeah. that. Um, you know, I've never had to come face to face mm -hmm. with a patient that's deteriorated like that as such and he's now actually been set up for critical care, which oh. was, you know, it's sad to see and it doesn't yeah. take it out of you, but... Um, I think it's really important to, you know, to have a debrief at the end of uh -huh. it, which I have done. Um, you know, the nurses that are on tonight um, took us all aside and had a debrief, you know, um, spoke about everything that we did right and, you know, that they'd, they, they'd said that within my capabilities I did everything that was expected of me. So, you That's know, really um, ready to step in when needed, you know, standing on standby. What do you need? Yep. Can I get you anything? Yeah. That kind of thing. So I feel I feel proud of myself at the same That's time good. as feeling really uh, kind of exhausted. Yeah. But I think uh -huh. it's really important to yeah. be able to say that and like you know mm -hmm. understand that that's a feeling that you have and it's okay yeah. to feel like uh -huh. that and to speak about it so yeah. um yeah i suppose the tonight was a, a different thing that i can now add to learning but yeah. at the same time I, i'll i'll know that what i did tonight was yeah. right and to follow that on i'll know for next time yeah that's so, great yeah that's really it's good. a good reflection yeah. Hi there, it's myself and Becky here. Um, we have just finished our night shift with an RH in Paisley and we have met to debrief about our shift. We feel really supported within the ward so far um, and we are enjoying learning and continuing to grow within the team. Um, so yeah, we think that this is a great opportunity that we've been given and we are so glad that we opted into the band four position. Myself and Stephanie actually went to high school together, so to be able to come together for this project has been really nice um, and we've been able to support each other as we're both in COVID-19 wards, so it's important that you keep talking to your peers. Um, we'd just like to say thanks to UWS and GGC for the opportunity we've been given. These video diaries have been a bit like therapy for us. And we'd also like to just say to the uh, community 
and everyone out there. Thank you for staying at home. Please continue to stay at home and protect our NHS. Thank you. Thank you.